Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be having a look at something pretty cool. Yep, today we're going to be focused on some of the amazing plant-eating animals that live around the world. If you're interested in finding out what some of these animals are, and what they're like, stick around. Before we jump into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. Make sure to let us know what other videos you'd like to see too, by leaving a comment. Now, let's jump into it. First of all, Let's take a look at elephants. Elephants are beyond amazing creatures, and the complete opposite of what you'd expect from just looking at them. While they may be huge and a bit scary looking, they're actually one of the friendlier species in the animal kingdom. They're incredibly intelligent, loyal, and sensitive. They truly are gentle giants. Elephants are definitely one of the coolest animals and have a bunch of exciting traits. For example, elephants are incredibly compassionate and will honor their dead by visiting their bones the same way people visit graveyards. How sweet is that? All species of elephant tend to travel in herds and are extremely protective of each other. All elephants are complete herbivores and they survive off of fruit, grass, bark, and roots. They can even get tipsy sometimes from eating fermented fruit, and some studies show that they do it on purpose. Next up, let's take a look at gorillas. Gorillas are ground-dwelling great apes and are one of the largest kinds of apes in the animal kingdom. Some of them weigh up to 160 kilograms. They can seem scary sometimes because they're so large and at times aggressive. However, they're only ever aggressive when they feel threatened or because they're trying to protect their family or their social position in their troop. Overall, they're gentle creatures and travel in groups of around 10 to 12 apes. As they're non-territorial, they tend to move around a lot in search of food. They predominantly stick to a vegetarian diet by feeding on stems, bamboo shoots, and fruit. However, at times they will eat ants or termites, but prefer a veggie meal over anything else. Generally, they are quite lazy animals and like to spend their day snoozing, snacking, or grooming each other. Now let's take a look at cassowaries. If you've not heard of an animal on this list, it's going to be the cassowary, which is a shame because they're a really interesting type of animal. Cassowaries are one of the largest birds in the world and live in the rainforests of Australia. The feature that makes them utterly unique is the hollow crest on their heads which allows them to produce a very low frequency sound to communicate with other cassowaries over a long distance. They're one of the deadliest birds in the world, and if upset, they can leap into the air and kick enemies with a dagger-like toe claw. Pretty scary. Cassowaries feed predominantly on fallen fruit, but will also feed on fungi and small vertebrates. Up next is koalas. Koalas are pretty cool for an animal that does so little. And what do I mean by that? Well, they're usually solitary creatures and sleep up to 22 hours a day. Other than sleep and eat, they don't do much else. What a lifestyle, right? While they tend to stick to themselves unless mating, they are part of a larger community. This means that while they prefer to live alone, they all tend to stay near each other for protection. They're very lazy and cautious animals, and can be territorial and aggressive when triggered. However, most of the time they just lounge around doing nothing. While they're one of the cutest animals, they're pretty moody and don't win many points in the personality department. The reason they sleep so much is that they live off of eucalyptus leaves, which takes a ton of energy to digest. They're overall pretty picky with their foods, so this type of leaf makes up the majority of their diets. They will at times branch out to some other native plantation though. Now, let's take a look at giant pandas. Pandas are solitary creatures that opt for a low-stress lifestyle. They're very docile creatures and don't really like to be disturbed, often hiding themselves and their faces when they come across a man in the wild. However, despite being rather docile, they are fiercely protective of their cubs and can become extremely aggressive when it comes to them. If they feel that they or their cubs are in danger, they can quickly become quite dangerous. Like koalas, they have a very specific diet that they stick to. In fact, they can spend up to 14 hours a day eating, which is pretty astounding. Then, once they've eaten, they'll nap between 2 to 4 hours between each meal. Talk about being lazy. Pandas mostly eat tender stems, shoots, and leaves off of bamboo which is rich in nutrients and low in fibrins. Fibrins are a protein, which explains why they have to spend so much time eating. They change the parts of the bamboo they eat depending on what season it is. For example, they'll eat the woody bits in April, whereas in another month they will completely discard the wood and only eat the tips. Sometimes a panda will eat grass, wild fruit, insects, and even mice and rubbish if they need to. But this is more just because wild pandas are foraging for things to find and eat what they can. By choice, they will pretty much always stick to bamboo and other plants. Now, let's take a look at iguanas. Iguanas are primarily herbivores and are incredibly active during the day. They love to bask in the sun, 
swim, and snack. They are independent creatures and prefer to remain near water and are therefore extremely active swimmers. They are incredibly fast and agile, but are not massively aggressive unless prompted. They are more of a flight than fight sort of creature and are only really aggressive when they feel scared and trapped. Usually, they'll just stick to themselves unless it's mating season. Iguanas' diets generally consist of leaves, flowers, and fruits, but they will occasionally eat bugs, eggs, and even smaller lizards when desperate. However, as they aren't the sort of animal that enjoys hunting much, they opt for plants as it's easy for them to find. Next up is the hippopotamus. Hippos are super aggressive and dangerous creatures, but they're still pretty cool, if only for their sheer size alone. Just don't get on the wrong side of one because you don't stand a chance of fighting one off. Hippos tend to live in groups and don't really do much aside from eating and sleep. Nicknamed the water horse by the Greeks, they love to swim and submerge themselves in water to escape the heat from the sun. They can hold their breath underwater for up to five minutes. They've got giant teeth and tusks that they use for fending off attacks, both from people and other hippos. Their aggression is quick to trigger and often young hippos fall victim to the violence of adult ones, both accidentally and not. Hippos are only aggressive as a natural instinct, having spent decades being hunted for their meat and teeth, and over time, have had it naturally ingrained into them to be on the defense. Hippos are giant creatures and weigh between 1,000 to 2,000 kilograms, depending on the type and sex. Being so heavy means they need a lot of sustenance to keep them going. They tend to eat primarily in the evening to avoid being out of the water in the sun. When they do feed, they predominantly eat grass and will spend hours and hours at a time grazing before the sun comes up again. There have been some incidents where hippos have been seen to eat meat, including one case that saw two hippos feeding off the carcass of a dead crocodile. There have been a few recorded incidences of hippos eating meat, but it's very rare, and most hippos only ever graze on grass. Now, on to zebras. Zebras are generally quite docile creatures, but can become aggressive when triggered. If under attack, threatened, or attempting to show dominance, a zebra may kick, bite, or push the predator or opponent. However, as they're more often prey than predator, they tend to opt for a flight over a fight to increase their survival rate. With predators such as lions hunting them that have the advantage of sharp teeth and claws, they're not usually very well versed in a fight. Zebras live in herds that can contain up to 1,000 zebras. However, the groups they live in from day to day tend to be a lot smaller than this. Usually, they'll live in groups that tend to consist of one male, a few female zebras, and their offspring, until the young are old enough to find their own group. They're social animals that prefer to stick together for protection purposes. They even groom each other as apes do. The diet of a zebra almost entirely consists of grass, but they will sometimes eat bark, twigs, and other foliage they find. They spend most of their day grazing, around 60 to 80 percent, because they eat low nutrition food and therefore need more to survive. Last but not least is the bison. Bison are a really cool type of ungulate, which are one of two gigantic herbivores left in North America, the other being the moose. All other similar animals have been extinct since the Ice Age. This cool creature can weigh up to one ton and has been known to be rather aggressive when aggravated or threatened. They hate when their personal space is invaded, so try to stay clear. Surprisingly, bison have killed more tourists than bears or wolves and are often seen in national parks as they are legally protected. Like zebras and other similar animals, bison graze on grass and spend most of their time eating the low-fiber food source. There you have it, some of the coolest plant-eating animals in the animal kingdom. Let us know what animals you would have added to the list, and let us know if you want to see more videos like this. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for future videos like this. We'll see you soon for another video.